y'all, did y'all see the first episode of Basketball Wives Season 7? Let's go on and start talking about this uh, right here, right now. What in the go hurting, pooping yoga is going on here uh, <laughs> with Jackie and this goat yoga? I ain't never heard of no goat yoga before in my life. They don't want to go with yoga. Y'all, Jackie talking about she had lipo. It wasn't liposuction. What did she call it? Um, liposuction. They showed a picture of her. She was snatched, honey. Snatched to the God. <laughs> then they pan back out and show her at goat, uh, Yoga, honey, she still got the goat she had when when the last season show went off. She need to get a refund. Um, what happened? Did she go in there and drink the gut back? What what, what happened? Because I'm gonna tell you, if I go get some liposuction, honey, I'm gonna be doing some crunches, some sit ups. I ain't gonna be on. At least I'm not gonna come in front of everybody and be like, yeah, I went and got restructured, girl. I'm snack. You can't say that and come up, come over there and have an eight month pregnant belly over some leggings. I don't know. Jackie be having me feeling some kind of way. I kid you not, she do. So anyway, when that <laughs> when that boo boo and tail goat, <laughs> that goat. Jumped on Jackie back. <laughs> that goat jumped on Jackie back. <laughs> and she wasn't expecting no. <laughs> no. She she wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. Oh have mercy. The goat scared her. She scared the goat. They scared everybody in the room. Malaysia was already gone. She wasn't even about to get down there on that floor with that goat spewing rotten skittles all over the floor. She said, no, I was no way. She was going to get down there on that floor. So anyway, let me get on. I'm sorry, but that was just the highlight of the show for me. Jennifer went on the court about this stalker. The stalker, some of y'all probably seen or heard talk about in um, the media between the show and the show when recording or whatever. How it was, I guess they still be recording, but to us, they the show ain't on, so it ain't recording or whatever. Okay, so let's discuss Jennifer Stalker. His name is Tim Norman. Um, when Jennifer first met him, she thought right out of the box he may be a little weird, but she felt like with a little tender love and care, tender love and care, she could help him. So after about three months, it became obvious it wasn't going to work. So she ended things. She was minding her own business one day when she was served with a restraining order. Come to find out, he had been saying all these things about her that he she was trying to stalk him and whatnot. But Jennifer believes it was to boost ratings for his own show. Then he kept being on her street and kept trying to keep track of her and so forth. So she ended up having the lawyer up and dispute the lies he was telling, then get her own restraining order. So you may be thinking, okay, this Tim guy sure does look familiar. And you're right, it's Tim from the show Sweetie Pies. He claims Jennifer was mad because he wouldn't fund her online business. He also claimed that she was the one doing all the stalking. He claimed that the producers wanted Jennifer and he to get married. And she wasn't, he wasn't into Jennifer like that. He says that she was just trying to use him as a storyline for basketball wives. Now guys, I'm calling bullshit on this entire story that he is trying to tell the reason i'm not buying his story is because number one i've watched sweetie pies and he's crazy if he keeps being over sweetie pies restaurants she gonna have to call tina turner and ask can she do some background singing and dancing for her again because he gonna blow all her money he's crazy he's 
unorganized he's not good with business and he act like on the show he ain't real rap he ain't rap too tight anyway number two jennifer ain't never needed any man as a storyline on that show to carry her she has been doing just fine being friends with evelyn shawnee or whoever else on that show she's never been the type of one woman to be dependent on anybody for a storyline so i'm not buying that Number three, he talking about producers wanted them to get married. Dude, she only knew you for three months. She would be more not in the one not into you. So please stop, stop that lie. I'm not even trying to buy that. Jennifer has never been a desperate Debbie that would just go out and marry some dude that she only knew for three months. So yeah, kill that lie too. Y'all heard about the um, stalker and all of that information and whatnot or whatever. But anyway, okay, so let's talk about Tammy. It was obvious to me that Tammy was not friends with Evelyn on episode, I'm going to say it's episode 12. Let me, let me, let me look back here in my dictionary, in my brain dictionary. I think it was episode 12 of season 6. I'm going to look for that review and drop it up here because I want to say that was when it happened. I knew Tammy was not cool with Evelyn. Honey, she was just being nice to to get those coins. Because when she went to Jackie and told Jackie that it was Evelyn's fault why Jackie called her daughter a builder whore, I knew right then Tammy was on some BS because had that been somebody calling Jasmine or one of her, her other daughter a builder whore, Tammy would have towed down the set. She'd have towed up everybody. So I wasn't even trying to hear what Tammy had to say. So, But you're going to sit here and... um. But I knew she wasn't cool, and I knew she was going to be up to something, because I'm going to tell you something. Tammy, I love me some Tammy Roman, but she ain't no friend you want to have, because if you make her mad, she become a petty baddie. She like Veronica, honey. She an ice princess. She is coming for you, so you got to watch your back, baby, because, honey, <laughs> her shade, her shade be too real. Tammy coming for you. So, she coming for Evelyn this season. And I'm going to tell you, this season going to be good. Because she going to do whatever she can to tear down the Empire. Because she got to be the main coin getter. She going to try to eliminate everybody. So, <laughs> Jackie better pull out the theatrics this season. Because Tammy is, uh, she is taking names. She got her list together. And she finna start crossing them off. Crossing them off. And crossing them off. So, they best be ready. Because they, when, when, um... Tammy get through. It's, she trying to make sure she, her, her and Shawnee going to be the her last two standing. But anyway, Evelyn is being shady because she was sitting at that time about Tammy and how Tammy walked. But I hate to say it, that doobie how Tammy be walking in them doggone heels. But then if you look at her foot from, uh, from the episode when an old boy was rubbing her feet, I'm like, boy, she better get that. I don't know if that's a bunion, hammer toe, what that is. She, girl, they, they do surgery for that now. Maybe that, the, she having some of them two little shoes while she be walking like her legs are scared. She got legs like that scarecrow on <laughs> Wizard of Oz. But when that dog go, Evelyn started walking like she was walking in them hills. It was the truth. I how she did. You know, I hate to say she went behind her back and said it, but honey, it was the truth. I don't understand why Evelyn started back shading Tammy and talking about her, but she did. But I just feel like Evelyn, that type of person, that she, but they all do it. Tammy and Evelyn, the reason Tammy and Evelyn can't get along is all they do is sit around and talk about people behind their back. That's why they, everybody be divided with them because they too shady. But anyway, then they started showing Jackie. They, cause they go to this party that um, Malaysia Malaysia gonna throw, and this where we she gonna start introducing us to these new girls. I'm t I need to drop a little picture. Let me drop a little picture somewhere over here with these new girls here, the new girls that they're trying to bring in. They gonna show Jackie up in her confessional talking about I'm, when I get there, I'm gonna beat a bitch ass. I'm, here she go on this, and ain't nobody even checking for her. And, when they showed her, I literally almost changed the 
channel. The only reason I didn't change the channel because I wanted to see what her daughter was going to do. I'm trying to see if her daughter was going to act the fool like she was about to act the fool because I was so hoping that she wouldn't. Then, but they had Jackie up in her confessional with them doggone um, crow feathers on looking like a damn buzzard talking all crazy. And here they are at Mardi Gras celebration with bright, uh, where you can wear bright, bright, uh, bright vibrant colors and she showed up with typical black on she can't dress i wish her daughter would have picked her out of outfit so she'd at least been cute because i'm so seeing her tired of seeing her walking around all this black and i believe she be walking around all this black because she be trying to ha hide her stomach and her rolls and stuff because you know she's trying to get all that turkey neck suck that honey because like you know how it is when people look young in the face and they look old in the neck because they had that young people face but they neck look like they 80 I believe Jack Jack tried to get her um neck and stuff fixed, but she should have got that. But if you gonna go get life with such and stuff sucked out, honey, I'd have come up in there looking cute. Anyway, Chantel was a grown woman about her. She went up there to Evelyn. She just basically was like, I just want you to know that what happened between you and my mama, that's between you and your mama. You know, I don't really have, you know, basically, I don't really have an issue with you. So I don't want to be any awkwardness, blah, 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 blah. And Evelyn was like, oh, well, I forgave her. I, you know, it is what it is. It happened or whatever. But I'm not going to fake the funk and be up in her face because we, we're not going to be friends like that. She was real. Like, Chantel, Chantel came to her like a um grown woman and Evelyn talked to her like a grown woman and she's like you know and then this girl gonna say but I feel like she's changed it since then where she done changed that all she doing is down there hyping up saying the same stuff oh god Evelyn trying to turn another daughter against me I'm finna go up here and it ain't gonna be good and I'm finna go out and she only be doing all that hollering I'm about to go off I'm about to go off just so security can come try to hold her because she knows she ain't about to bust no grapes. She ain't, she knows she ain't about to smash no strawberry. She knows she ain't about to melt no cheese. She knows she not about to do nothing. She is not about to get it popping off in there like she claims she is. She ain't about to do nothing. Uh, lady, have several pews a uh, cease and open your Bible to Matthew whatever because you're not about to do nothing. She fake. But this my thing. Let her roll up in there and don't say nothing to her. See if she pop off. Because she ain't going to do nothing. If it ain't no security up in there, she ain't going to be doing all that rah, rah, rah around. Trying to pop off, hollering and screaming, yelping and hollering. None of that is going to go down and ha uh, uh, happen or nothing like that. Unless somebody tap that ass right upside her head and smack a couple of times. They won't even have to worry about all that no more. But anyway, she done burned all her bridges with everybody. So she had to bring her daughter along with her because she didn't have nobody else to go with her. But she wanted uh, Shanty to be on her side and be mad at Evelyn them and be sitting over there in the corner talking about people and you know how Jackie turned up and do all that snarling and trying to get it popping and turned off. And ain't nobody studying her like that. So she really needs to chill. But anyway, like I said, she ain't changed because she's still talking the same old mess just on a different day. So anyway, um, Jennifer need to take a, uh, Cynthia Bailey need to take a note out of Jennifer, um, Williams book, uh, how to have two friends on separate sides. Um, because Jennifer, she basically was trying to tell Evelyn, I ain't going to have no part of this. You talking about Tammy Why it was fat, funny. She was trying to withhold her laugh. She walked off and said, I ain't going to be, we not doing that. And then when they got with uh, Tammy, they kept it real with Tammy. But now, Cynthia, you need to take a note how she did that. She didn't try to act like she was friends with one and one and, and wasn't friends with the other one. She was, she let him know, look, I'm friends with both of y'all. I rock with both of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Take note, Cynthia, baby. So anyway, Tammy wanted to point out that Jennifer said she wasn't going to have nothing else to do with Evelyn. Let me tell you something. It's been five or six years. People don't do not do like Tammy sitting around and hold grudges their whole life. Tammy can get mad and stay mad at people for years. Everybody don't do that. If Jennifer wanted to forgive Evelyn and be friends with her and be best friends with her, then she has the right to people do it every day. And ain't nothing wrong with Jennifer Williams doing it with Evelyn Lozada, Tammy Roman. So get over it. Just because you want to be mad and hateful and stay that way, don't be trying to put it on everybody else to stay that way. So anyway, I'm ready to go to see what go down in all these previews about sleeping with um Evelyn sleeping with um 
Shani X and all this kind of stuff. Because for some reason, I feel like when Shani said, I will never look at her this way again, I'm wondering if she's talking about Tammy. I don't know. I'm ready to see. Because, you know, they try to trick you in them previews about who they be talking about or what not. So, anyway... Y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think um, Evelyn was referring to Tammy or was she... Um what, do y'all think Shawnee was referring to Evelyn or was she referring to Tammy when she said I won't look at her ever the same again because you know that ain't come on yet so who y'all think she was talking to and what y'all think about the whole show the whole new season how everything playing out and all this kind of stuff leave it in the comments below and let me know what y'all think thank you for watching I'll see y'all in the next review